great. How are you? Doing good, thank you. All right, exciting news. You get picked up by the Browns as an undrafted free agent, but let's start with this. How tough was it for you to, to watch the whole draft and not get drafted? I mean, it was, it was tough sitting around and, and watching the whole draft, but I knew that was definitely a possibility of not getting drafted with all my injuries. So I just kind of took it in stride, and, uh, but I feel blessed with the opportunity to be picked up as a free agent with the Browns. Did it ever get to the point that you were just sick of seeing guys like Mel Kuyper and Chris Berman and all of them on TV? Oh, really. I mean, I definitely knew it was a possibility um, to be a free agent, so I just, uh, just kind of took it in stride. You grew up a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Now your favorite team, I imagine, is the Cleveland Browns. Am I, am I right there? You are correct. <laughs> Cleveland Browns is my favorite team. <laughs> Tell us how it all went down. A draft ends. I'm sure there are a lot of teams that you're on their board, you know, that maybe if there were more rounds you would have got drafted but making the call. So how did this all shake out? Um, probably in the seventh round was the ten teams that were calling me. I knew that I wasn't going to get drafted then, and that they wanted to pick me up as a free agent. So uh, me and my agent, we just kind of narrowed it down, and I thought Cleveland was the best uh, choice for me. What is it about the Browns that you like so much? Uh, the four three defense. Uh, I mean, it's close to Columbus. I'm familiar with uh, the area. And I just think it's a great organization. Talking to Andrew Sweat here on ninety seven one The Fan. When you visited the team, when you talked to Coach Shermer, imagine Heckard, Holmgren, those guys. What stood out to you? Um, I'm actually going up Thursday. I have not uh, been up there yet. I'll, we started working mini camp on Thursday, so that would be my first. Uh, Actually, on Friday, but I head up on Thursday. Okay, so that's, that's my first opportunity. So that's pretty exciting, though, to get up there and, and, and meet those guys. And some of these guys are legends of the game up there. Yeah, and I'm definitely excited. I think it's a, a great opportunity, and I'm excited to start to, to compete. I think as well, like you mentioned, you had a concussion, a little bit of an elbow injury. How much of you wants to prove to the Browns, to other teams, maybe even to yourself, that you can play like the guy at Ohio State that you were before those injuries? I'm, I'm, I'm just excited. I mean... I feel 100% healthy. This is the first I've felt like this in a long time, and I'm just excited just to go out and just to compete. Um, just take it one day at a time and uh, just to compete every day. J.B. Shugarts uh, gets uh, picked up as well with you. How nice is it to have a guy going up to Cleveland with you who you know pretty well? Yeah, the familiarity uh, aspect of it definitely will help. Uh, I don't know what to really expect. I don't think he does either, so I think it will help having someone that uh, – I've been friends with her the last, past four years to kind of uh, do the day in and day out uh, things that we're not necessarily accustomed to. Just nice to have a familiar face there, I'm sure. Uh, following you on Twitter as well, how excited were you? Because it seemed like really excited for all of your Buckeye teammates who were getting drafted. Yeah, and, um, that's awesome. I was, uh, I mean, spent the last four years with all those guys, and uh, I knew that was a dream come true for all of them. So uh, I'm very uh, happy for them, and I, and I know they're excited. What's next for you? You said you're going up, uh, I think, rookie minicamp, what, starts this Friday. Uh, so you've just been training, working out, and getting ready to go up to Cleveland now? Yeah, I've been working out with Anthony Schlegel every morning. Uh, uh, he's, he's an animal in the weight room. He's a beast. And uh, that's definitely helped. And I've uh, been running with him and um, just working out and head up to minicamp this week. And then I have to come back to Ohio State to finish up my classes. And then I head up, uh, I think, June 1st and uh, do the rookie uh, conditioning program. Have the Browns given you any idea of what you should be doing right now, or is it just wait till you get to Cleveland and then you'll be good to go? I mean, a little bit, but it's kind of just, uh, I mean, it's now if you're a professional football player, I mean, you got to be in shape. You have to um, have accountability on your, on your end, and uh, that's what I'm just trying to do, just staying in great shape and getting ready for this rookie mini camp this uh, weekend. Andrew Sweat, our guest here on 97 One The Fan. I'm sure you've talked to other guys who play in the league, whether they're Buckeyes or what have they told you? What advice have you gotten that you feel like is valuable? I mean, just to compete every day. It's kind of like Ohio State. I'm mean, playing with Coach, under Coach Fickle. I mean, he demands a ton, and I think that's the same way in the NFL. Um, just stay healthy, take care of your body, and uh, just be a sponge. I mean, watch the veterans. As far as the defense, is no inside and out, so you're an asset to the team. Mentioned as well, uh, National Football Foundation Hampshire Honor Society. You were part of that list for finishing career with a 3.2 GPA or higher, so congratulations there. How proud are you uh, of what you accomplished, not just on the football field, but as an Ohio State student? I mean, I think uh, I, mean, I aim to, to achieve both on and off the field as high, at a high level, and I um, studied hard. I mean, the, the Fisher College of Business wasn't easy. Um, I knew that going in, but I uh, stuck with it, and I'm glad I did, and I think that will pay uh, remarkable dividends after I'm done playing football, whenever that is. But uh, on 
the field. I mean, I just loved Ohio State. I mean, it's been an unbelievable experience and uh, one that I'll miss. Yeah, last time we spoke to you, you'd mentioned law school was maybe a backup plan to professional football. So I guess that plan's just on hold a little bit right now. Yeah, it's on hold. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what my backup plan is. I'm kind of a person that has plan A, B, and C. Mm-hmm. But definitely plan A right now is playing football, and I'm I'm extremely excited about it. It's got to be so much fun to get ready to go play. Uh, Cleveland as well, because you know the fans. There are just, there's a lot of Buckeye fans up there in Cleveland, so you're going to be probably pretty well received once you get up there. Yeah, I hope so. I'm I'm excited. Uh, I've never been to Berea, and I've only been to Cleveland probably once. So I'm I'm extremely excited to get up there to get things rolling and um, to be around the, the Cleveland fans. Let's talk Buckeyes for a second before I let you go. Uh, spring football just wrapped up a few weeks ago. A few linebackers stood out. Uh, the guys you worked out with, you've been around all last year, uh, you know, Curtis Grant, Ryan Shazier, uh, Etienne Sabina. What can you tell us about the linebackers coming back this coming season for Ohio State? Um, I think that's a great group. I mean, uh, Coach Trickle's going to demand a ton out of them, and I think they'll improve every day. I think that um, sky's the limit for those guys, and I think that they're they're going to they're going to play well this year. Did you get to know Coach Urban Meyer at all? You know, in the time you had between the end of the season, between the Gator Bowl and and the draft. Yeah, he. I mean, he recruited me when I got recruited by Florida. So I've known him since like my junior year. But okay. I have him. He's, he's a great guy. I mean, uh, he's a passionate coach, and uh, I think he's going to be. A, a great asset for um, the high State program. Um, he's pushing these guys, and I think it's, he's doing everything exactly the way that uh, it should be done, and I think that uh, um, he's going to get the most out of every player, and ultimately uh, that leads to wins. So he's got a good eye for talent. If he was on you as a junior in high school, we can, uh, we can certainly appreciate that. Uh, last thing, we'll let you go. What are you looking forward to most about getting up to Berea? What's the thing that you just you want to do the most to get, get into the most? I mean, just to compete. Um, I've been. I mean, I haven't played a game since uh, January. Just to just to put on the pads and to compete. I think uh, you can work out as much as you want and you can lift as much weights, but it's nice to put the pads on and put the helmet on, whatever it is, and uh, just uh, to do drills and to compete. So that's what I'm most excited for. Andrew, great catching up with you as always. Uh, congratulations on getting picked up by one of the hometown teams. We'll look forward to your progress up in Cleveland. Hopefully, talk to you soon. Thank you very much.